Hello, today we are going to take a look at this extremely interesting device from Victron Energy. It is diode battery combiner that allow you to join different power sources into one output, but separating them. So output one will not recharge and backflow to output B. So it is a quite interesting device. It's based basically on diode, so you are going to get voltage drop, but it says they are using Schottky diode, so it should be quite low. They are making version for a lot of currents, and mine is 40 amp rating, and it allows you to work from 12 volt to 24. And this is how it presents, so let's here you've got user manual just in case you would be interested in connecting it so as you can see we've got two different battery systems and we've got a mission critical load and any of those two batteries can supply power to our load and of course we are going to try it out device is quite heavy and that's because of that massive heat sink here we can see some sort of putty compound that is sealing it totally let's take a look once again at the back plate 40 amp 12 to 24 volt absolutely beautiful diode battery combiner we've got two input and one central output so i expect they are going to be just a beefy diodes inside. So let's try to connect it. We are ready to do our test. I grabbed two different power sources. One is my power supply from Voltcraft. Second is seal lead acid battery. And they both are using 12 volt. And first thing that is going to happen as soon as we are going to attach the positive and negative to our battery is that we are recharging it and you can see that we are pushing current into that battery so keep that in mind our battery combiner work with only positive rail so the negative is going to be connected together behind the scene so i grab my positive from the power supply and I will use it as our input number one then I will grab my battery and I will grab our 12 volt from this battery and attach it to input number two then I will go and grab my negative lead from power supply and we are going to combine it and bond on our central negative rail and as you can see, we do not have any current flowing into our battery. And this is extremely important because it allows you to use different chemistry of batteries. So you can have separate charger attached to that battery and it can maintain proper voltage for AGM. And you can have on other section lithium ion with separated charger that is going to be maintaining different voltage level but everything is going to be combined at one output let's assume our critical load is going to be this motorola transceiver i will put it like this from our motorola we are going to grab negative and attach it to the central point to the central negative bus bar so it doesn't matter where it is, but in the central point. And we are left with our positive. Before we are going to attach my radio, let's see what kind of voltage are we getting between the negative terminal and our combined output. We are reading 13.9 volt, which is of course the highest voltage that came from the power supply. And if we measure our battery, then of course we've got a 12.5 volt. So the current should be flowing, but it's not because it go through the battery combiner. 
and I will grab our yellow as the positive output and we are going to attach it to the central point. And from that moment, our radio is critical load and we can power it on. And it's booting up. As you can clearly see, our radio is working beautiful and we've got current flowing from the power supply. Most likely we should not see any current flowing from the battery. And let's make sure that's the case. And I will grab the red wire. And as you can see, we've got no current flowing. Those are after the zero. And now we are going to simulate power fault on the one system, which is my power supply. I will just unplug it and the radio is still working fine, but we've got current flowing from the battery. Why it is extremely important? Because it allows you to have two totally separated systems from different phase. You can have two power supplies or like a two different chemistry of batteries. So let me put it back. And as you can see, we go back to this power supply supplying our load first and let's reverse our process. So I will unplug this source. And as you can see, nothing happened. The radio is still working. So as you can see, as long any of those two wires are connected, our load is going to be transferred without absolutely any disruption. You've got no relay clicking, not any milliseconds. It's acting constantly. It's working on demand. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.